for the first problem, find n if the arithmetic sequence is 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, and a sub n is equal to 393. So, based on the problem, our given is we have a sub n, which is 393. Then, our first term is so a sub 1 is equal to 8 then our difference is you can write 3, 13 minus 8 so that is 5 so we have the difference which is 5 our a sub 1 which is 8 and our a sub n is equal to 393 so we need to find n okay so n means the position of 393 or that nth term okay so we, like if 93 is the 100th term the 99th term okay so using these three values so we can substitute these three values into the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied to d so our a sub n is 393 equals a sub 1 is 8 plus our n is unknown minus 1 then our d is 5. Next 393 is equal to 8 plus 5 times n that is 5n minus 5 times 1 that is 5 next 393 is equal to copy this 5n then subtract this one 8 minus 5 that is 3 plus 3 so you can write plus 3 so 393 equals 5n plus 3 next you can rewrite this one into 5n plus 3 was 393 so they are the same okay the next 5n is equal to 393 you will need to transfer this plus 3 to the other side okay so this plus 3 will become minus 3 okay then continuation here we have 5n is equal to 393 minus 3 that is 300 90 so divide both sides by 5 so n is equal to so the cancel 5 divided by 5 is 1 okay so 1n or n then 390 divided by 5 that is 78 so our n is equal to 78 so what does it mean so this 393 393 is the 78th term okay for problem number two what is n if the arithmetic sequence is 2 6 10 14 18 and a sub n equals 450 so again on the problem we have a sub n which is 450 our a sub 1 based on the given sequence or arithmetic sequence is 2 and our difference is you can write 6 minus 2 so the difference is 4 so we need to find n so again this n is the we need to find n so this n is the position of 450 on the arithmetic sequence 2 6 10 14 18 okay so using the formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied to d so a sub n is 450 equals a sub 1 is 2 plus our n is unknown then our d is 4 so 450 equals 2 plus 4 times n for n minus 4 times 1 4 so by distributive property then 450 is equal to 
4n. 2 minus 4 is that is negative 2. So minus 2. Right? Then you can rewrite that 4n minus 2 equals 450. So 4n is equal to 450 plus 2. So 4n is equal to 452. So continuation here. So 4n equals 452. So divide both sides by 4. Okay, so cancel. Or divide that is 1. Okay, so n is equal to 452 divided by 4 is 113. So it means that 450 is the 113th term.